so now that we have managed to bring in the clips and add all the variations in terms of the uh, voiceover along with the right timing of the video and we have managed to also do a audio keyframe where the one audio goes down the other audio goes up i think it's time right now to explore the possibility of adding transitions effects and titles so transitions are what you can put between clips and we can also put transition at the beginning of a clip as well so let's then explore and add some transitions in this particular edit so when we have this first clip and we go to the next clip it cuts to black okay maybe we can try something else maybe we can look at transitions and see if you can add like a black smoke in between let's see curiosity and voyeurism all right so you can see that i've added a, like a transition here i can in fact make it bigger voyeurism see it's quite it's quite interesting how a black smoke comes and we go to the next clip so likewise we can add other transitions also you know so one clip this clip ends and we have finished and we start with another clip here you know if you want so transitions can be done between two clips okay there's also effects which is also very interesting i mean you can actually add an effect at any point you want suppose we want to add an effect into this whole uh, you know when we have this whole opening credits so you have lots of effects here so many actually try to not overuse it and try to use uh, you know mix do one which makes more sense of like focus let's see how it looks like in the very beginning it's very interesting right i mean of course it is not fitted for this particular purpose but you can add effects on a different layer altogether as you can see Okay, so you can add effects on different layer. You can add transitions between clips, as I've showed you here. I've added like a black Blasty smoke and voyeurism. Okay, um, any other also will work. Uh, now let me show you titles. So easy. If you click on text here and you have text templates, you have a host of options. In fact, if you open it, you can see that you have titles, for example, all right, and you have already created templates. Like for example, I can I, I I think I really like this. So I can what I can do, I can just drag it on top here, and I can actually make it longer, and I can click on it, and I can actually change it. So here it says minimal titles. So I can say video. Second is essay, and everything can be customized by the way, as you can see. I can increase the scale of it. I can make it bigger or smaller. I can change the position of it. I can change the color of it. You know, so there's a whole lot of options that you can use, and you know, so there are really, really no limits to what you can do. I have just changed the te template right from here. Okay, after I've added the text, <laughs> you can see there's so many different there's so many different possibilities here. So this is titles. So you can add titles. And you can edit them and go to basics and you can edit them if you want to add some effects you can add some effects on the existing text for example suppose I want a text to look like this so that that will that will make it that will change the text for example so there's a whole lot of possibility with titles so I know in lots of uh, video essays you would like to reveal some extra information besides your voiceover so feel free to use titles and you have a host of options here and once you add it if you don't like it you can edit it also as I just showed you you can click on the on the title and you can go to basic and you can actually change the text you can change the scale you can change a host of other options now um, if you want to add caption for example now you have an audio here and I want to suppose add a caption in this audio so you can actually go to your text right here so you can actually select your voiceover and you can click on auto captions and you can create and that's it automatically it will go through the audio and it will create captions for you it created captions for all the audio you know and what you can do is you can actually you can actually change the way it looks right now it is uh, white you can change the color you can change the font size you know make it bigger you can make it smaller um, you can look for a specific effect this is a typical effect you see in social media you know <laughs> so you can add this effect and it's applied across all the 
audio files that I have. Just imagine. So, as far as titles, effects, transitions, captions are concerned, I think CapCut has got the best of capabilities, and it makes your life so much easier and faster. So, explore all this. I think there's a wealth of uh, opportunities for you. And uh, once you're done with everything, you can click on export. So there is an export button right here. Click on export. And in the export button, you can choose a particular name. You can uh, decide where it is going to go. Remember, we were editing in a 720 uh, resolution. So ultimately, it's going to export you to a 720 uh, uh, resolution. Um, don't change anything else. Everything else is fine until unless you feel there is an error. Uh, because we knew that we were editing in 30 frames per second. We knew that we were editing in 720p. And uh, if you want the audio separately, you can also e export the audio separately. Otherwise, the audio video will come together. And that's it. Click on export. And you will have your video essay exported. So I hope I have been able to co cover everything that you need to uh, at least have the basic elements and also explore possibilities with immense options given to you by CapCut as far as titles, uh, caption, effects and transitions are concerned. So all the best with CapCut and I hope you can create a very interesting video essay and share it with me.